All right, we're back and the Pope is wrapping up Holy Week as he prepares for Easter Sunday following recovery from a health scare. NBC's Ann Thompson has this story. Pope Francis powering through Holy Week. The 86-year-old animated, energized, engaged, showing few after effects of last week's hospitalization for bronchitis. By getting back on the job so quickly, the Pope is effectively saying, you're not rid of me yet. I'm here, I've got an agenda, and I'm moving full speed ahead with it. His stamina-challenging week began with Palm Sunday Mass, where he thanked those who prayed for him during his illness. They included these high school seniors from Chicago. It means a lot just that he, he celebrated the Mass with us today. Francis brought children along for a ride in the Pope Mobile at his general audience Wednesday, then went to a juvenile prison for Holy Thursday Mass. Speaking without notes, he told the inmates Jesus will not abandon them, a promise symbolized by the washing of feet. Leaning on his cane with rolled up sleeves, the Pope washed and kissed the feet of 12 young men and women. One inmate brought to tears. The voice of Deacon Zane Langenbrunner will fill St. Peter's Basilica Saturday night at Easter Vigil Mass. The 29-year-old from Mishawaka, Indiana, who played in his high school band, now plays with a rock band of fellow seminarians in Rome. A little more than 50 days from becoming a priest, he will chant the Easter proclamation for Pope Francis. Will this be the first time you've sung at a papal mass? Yes. Are you and nervous? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. You know, the most challenging part about it is how long it is. I think the thing I'm most nervous about is my voice kind of giving out halfway through. So, But I'm going to pray, pray for the Holy Spirit to have that grace to, to finish it.